Hello everybody and welcome to another Floral Friday. We are going to be attempting the Mitalino Spiral that everybody around the world has come to love because of Hitomi Gilliam. And hopefully you checked out our interview with Hitomi Gilliam on Monday. But today we are going to try and attempt to make the Mitalino Spiral. Um, it's something that can go into bridal, it can go into sympathy, it can go into everyday, door hangers, it's so multifaceted that it's something that's a kind of a cool trick and neat thing to learn. It elevates your design to a next level and that's why we here at Floral Today love it. We have already tried it and attempted it. Is it perfect? God no. But we did something simple. We made our spiral and then we folded it in like she shows us in the video. We added some orange ilex berry very simple, kind of goes with this. The seasons right now, you can, like I said, really do anything with this. This is very, very simple, but I would throw it on my door with a bow on it. I could add some more basing to it. It's really so simple, multifaceted, as I said before, that you can take it to the next level with just an interesting technique and an interesting experience for different, uh, all your different customers. So, Today what I'm going to do is go along with the video and I might skip to the between each step because it takes me a little while. Hitomi zips right through it and it still takes her 14 minutes. It takes me a little bit longer. So stay with us and we will be, you can do along with us. There's a link below for the video or you can sit through the video and see what happens. It might not be perfect, but what are you going to do? Okay, like I said, we're going to go through each step and hopefully come out with a beautiful Mitalino spiral and just to start off we'll go through the different things you will need to do this design. I have my wire cutters, I have a pair of scissors that do cut wire and ribbon. Uh, it does, she does it with bullion wire. I do not have bullion wire so all I have is this. You're going to want to pre-cut some whoop, some Oasis adhesive strips. You can use dots, you can really use anything, just some adhesive strips. You'll need it as you're making your design. Um, metallic wire, really any color you want. Same with the Mitalino. You're going to want 30 strong pieces of Mitalino. Um, there's quite easy to see what's strong and what's not. If it's flat and has no body to it, don't use it. We've pulled our 30 pieces. You're going to want a long piece of wire, of the metallic wire. She doesn't really tell you exactly how long. I just have my whole arm span. I have a long arm span. Some people don't. So just make sure you have a long piece of wire and whatever you want to add to it afterwards. But we are just going to make the spiral right now. So let's get going. So we're starting out with getting our 30 pieces and we are going to make them all equal and then just so we don't have a blunt end we're going to pull a few out so that the bottom of our spiral will taper and can be easy to add into like if you want to put into a vase or if you just want a nice finished end to it it's kind of dresses it up makes it that much nicer And she, like I said, super quick at this. We're going to take our wire. As I said, I did this before, and so I'm waiting for the video to catch up because she is just doing a couple different tips and tricks. That's the great thing about going and seeing Hitomi's video is she does have the tips of how she does everything so that you can kind of get her insight. So we're going to take one of our dashes just to start off our wire. It keeps our wire a bit more secure. Go right above where your right where your ends end. <laughs> so I'll take this off. It, mine doesn't go all the way around, but it just keeps it nice and strong. And then we are going to go nice and tight, and then wrap it all the way down. I already messed up. You gotta add your wire in, but the easy part is this goes right into the center. Like I said, this isn't gonna be perfect. 
feed it into the middle of your of all of your mitolino. It's not very difficult at all. And then make sure that your aluminum wire stays in the middle of all your mitolino. It's going to be the nice strong support. So then we'll tighten this up a little bit more. Throw this on the floor. Actually, we won't throw it on the floor. We're going to cut it. And this finishes off the start of our spiral. Welcome back. So what we're going to do now is start our spiral. And what we're going to do, make sure that your wire is in the center of all your middle lino. And we're going to pull out two of our middle linos with the wire. And for this, we're going to want to cut a nice big chunk of our metallic wire. Like I said, Hitomi is this bouillon. I did not have bouillon. I forgot to grab it when I was at the wholesaler. But then I might use another glue dot. I use a lot more glue dots than Hitomi does. I am still learning how to do this, as you can see. So I'm going to just do a quick glue dot. Make sure our mechanics are pretty sound. And then I'm going to just go around it. Let's pause it. And she says to go around it for eight to 10 inches. I think I messed up this step too. Oh well. <laughs> and we're binding these together. This is what's going to be the support and the spine of your design. It gives you the shape. It gives you the strength that you need for your design. And as I said also before, I did mess up this step. You're supposed to keep your bullion on the, or your bullion or your metallic wire on the spool, but I did not. So I'm just going to wrap it into our end. Just keeps it that much secure. So finish this off. And now we will start putting in each of our mandolino pieces to start our spiral, which is awesome. Like I said, I'm going to do probably the first five and then we'll go from I'm just gonna finish it up and then I'll come back to you so we grab the one closest to the two we go right here oh I already messed up again so we're gonna pull off a nice chunk of wire this is where you're gonna want to pull off from the tail off wire because you can't really work through all of the different ways. So we have our first one, we pull it up, and then we start our bind. You could do another piece of U-glue here. Make sure that you have this underneath your structure, underneath your wire and your spine. You're going to go about half an inch to an inch. Make sure it's tight. You kind of have to have space to do this, but it's all good. So we got our second one up. Don't know if you can see it. My wire is all over the place. Whoop. But we have it underneath, and then pull tight, and we just keep winding around. And you already have. As you can see, a nice spiral shape starting. Pull the next one up. Keep it underneath the bottom of your spine. Go about half an inch. This is already turning out better than our first one, which is pretty good. Might be because I've already done it once, so I'm a little more comfortable with it. Like I said, it's with almost all things with the design world. As you practice it and you get to know it more, you go quicker and you become more confident in it. So let's just add one more, and then I will leave you and come back, and hopefully I will have a nice spiral.
or at least all 30 of my pieces all bound into the spiral. Okay, and as you can see, I hope you can see, we have our long wires still here, we have our spiral starting right here, still have our chunk of loose wire, and then we have all of these left. So I will be right back after I finish them up. Okay, so I did not do a very good job. Try to be quick. I finished up one. It was a disaster, so I tried it again. And we did get a more, a better curve than the first one, but we did mess it up. Um, one of the key things is that you always keep it in the back. I don't know where I lost it, but I believe I had a couple in the front. I also forgot to go every single one next to it. That was a bit confusing, so I wasn't sure what it meant by that. So we do have something. <laughs> it could still be used. It's still beautiful. You can very easily, like I said before, put this into many, many different types of design. It just makes it that much more interesting, that much more of a unique, stylized design. We are stuck in a world of round arrangements just clumped together. Take a test drive on something. Go check out Hitomi's video and see how to do it. Like I said, this was a better attempt. It is not the best. I'm going to keep practicing because practice does make perfect. But I hope you enjoy it. It is more difficult than it looks. It's not super difficult. It's just getting the practice in. And it did go quicker. But like I said, I did make mistakes on the first and the second attempt. I did have a pretty good first finished product from the very, very first one I made. So go out there, look up other videos, enjoy yourself, push yourself to limits. This was difficult for me, but I enjoy that difficult, difficult level of this type of design. Go to Tomi and tell her if you liked her video, if you didn't like her video. Make sure to send us pictures and Hitomi pictures of you trying this, of your finished product, how you would put it into a wall-mounted wreath or into a sympathy piece or into just a glass vase with orchids. Show us how you are elevating your skills and your design for your customers. Thank you again for joining us for Fall Friday. It was kind of rushed, just kind of quick, but like I said, we are just, we were just having fun with the spiral. We learned how to do the Mitalino spiral. Check out Hitomi's interview. There's a link below with Floral Today from last Monday. And then also check out her video and all the other things that she's up to. Check her out on Facebook and all her other links as she is looking for inspiration on what other techniques you'd like to learn. And keep up with us. Tell us what you want to see, what you want us to try. We're going to be trying pasta with fresh flowers in them, uh, homemade pastas. We're going to be trying different types of design styles. And we also have a couple articles with my designs in them. A lot of people don't get to see me design, so keep your eyes out for it. Thank you for joining us again today. It is Floral Friday, so do something Floral Friday, Friday E, <laughs> and make sure to hashtag it Floral Friday so we can check out all the wonderful things you're up to. Have a great day, and we will see you next week. Bye.